How's it going guys? Nate here. Welcome back to the channel. So today I was planning on doing a video on the, the two Thursday boots that I have and comparing the two, um, the Vanguard and the Captain, but I got these bad boys in the mail today and I was so excited I just, I couldn't, I couldn't do that review and I was like, I need to review these now. So um, today is going to be a review on these shoes. These are the Mod 1s from Wooby Shoes. Uh, Wooby Shoes is Green Beret owned and operated. Uh, they're made in America, I believe in Texas, and they are really fantastic quality. Um, my first you know, hour here of wearing them has been great. Also, being that it was Veterans Day uh, a few days ago, I just want to say thank you to all of our veterans out there. Um, I appreciate your service, and I just want to say thank you for that. Alrighty, so starting with the review here, uh, like I normally do, let's take a look at the sole here. So this is a rubber sole. It's got an interesting rubber, uh, sort of like squiggly texture on the bottom here. You guys can see that. It's pretty interesting. Um, as far as I can tell so far, it provides a pretty good grip. Um, it's definitely sturdy and it is definitely a very hard rubber. You know, it's more hard than you're gonna find on um, vans in my opinion it seems very durable it's not as strong as um, anything you'd really find in like a Vibram sole on a Goodyear welted boot but those are pretty bulletproof soles and and this is this is pretty strong like I'm impressed with this I think it's a good quality rubber now it's not the vulcanized type where they have the sole and then they put the strip around the outside and it like shrinks on your onto your shoe uh, like vans are constructed and I believe Chuck Taylor's Converse, uh, I think those might be constructed that way also. Um, they're not like that. This is one solid uh, piece of rubber, and from what I can tell, they then drop the canvas and the leather front toe inside and stitch it all the way around, which adds for some pretty good durability. Um, so overall, sole is fantastic. The insole is really nice too. Um, it's very comfortable. It fits well to my feet. I usually order a nine and a half in boots. Um, and for most sneakers I'm a 10. I ordered a 10 in these and these fit pretty dang well. So they have this interesting insole in here. It's got like a square sort of texture on it. I'm not sure if you guys can see that. Maybe hold towards the light, there we go. You guys can see it has like that texture in there. Really comfortable. It's a foam, um, just like an insole. And underneath that, you just have a simple footbed. It looks like it has some sort of fiber in there as the footbed, pretty hard, your, you know, your standard shoe uh, footbed. All right, so moving on up to the top of the boot here, we got a leather toe cap. Now, if you guys know me, I am into the leather stuff and the leather boots a lot, so that's cool. Now this, I can't tell if it's real or not. I think it is real, but it's definitely like a genuine leather. It's definitely treated, um, not like a high grade um, full grain leather. Now, obviously this isn't a pair of boots, so I'm not expecting it to be some crazy full-blown $700 Italian leather. That would be ridiculous. But this leather does seem very durable, sturdy, and it adds an extra layer of protection on the front, which I really appreciate. Um, double stitched along the top. I talked about that in other videos. You always wanna make sure whatever you're getting has double stitching on there. If it doesn't have uh, double stitching, that's just a weak point where if one stitch goes, you're done and it's gonna start falling apart. So definitely good to see double stitch on there. For a toe cap on a boot like this, it's supposed to be super durable. I would maybe like to see three rows. You could definitely fit a third one in there and it wouldn't impact it too much. Now, while I'm on the topic of the, of the front and the toe and everything, I do wanna note that when you start wearing these, you will have a little bit of discomfort as the canvas here in the front starts to fit to your foot. And this toe cap really provides like a harsh, solid line. Um, that line is going to Definitely you're gonna feel it uh, when you're wearing these and you're just breaking them in, but you know, give it a couple hours in these shoes, you should be fine. Here is my Thursday Vanguard boot. This is the right-hand boot, a little dusty. Um, just to kind of show what I'm talking about there with the toe cap, you can kind of see how this toe cap here, it's got, if it'll focus, there we go. It has a little bit of a bump here. As it's worn out, this is kind of worn up and there's like a little divot there where as it collapses, your toes are in the front and it has this little bit of a space and this kind of folds in between your toes and the back of your foot or the, the rest of your foot really. Um, so as you wear these, this will conform to your foot a little bit better and it will become a lot more comfortable. Um, I would say within the first couple hours, it's already starting to feel more comfortable for me and I've only worn them for about one hour. So just, Keep in mind, you will need a little bit of a breaking period on it, but nowhere near uh, anything like a pair of Red Wings or other Goodyear welted boots like that. 
Uh, these are going to be really comfortable right out of the box. So moving on now to the canvas on the shoe itself. This is a really good quality canvas. Um, the only other pair of canvas shoes I have are my uh, Palladium Pampas. I think they're the Pampa High, just a standard Pampa High. The originals are, are slightly different, um, but they are canvas. Very similar to this. This canvas feels almost identical, and I know for a fact that, that canvas is really, really nice. Um, you can let the dirt dry off on it if you get into some mud and just go over them with a brush and usually it cleans it off. You can spray them off with a hose and the canvas takes really good beating. So it's good to see this nice uh, canvas material on here. It is double stitched along the edges and along on either side of the eyelets it is double stitched which is nice to see. Oftentimes manufacturers will cheap out there and they won't um, do the double stitching all the way along. But this is double stitched the whole way up here. It looks like it's double stitched along here. It's got two lines there. And around to the back, the only thing that is not double stitched is this leather patch here. But as far as I can tell, that's mostly for decoration. It might have a little bit of a structural impact there, but frankly, I really don't care. That's that's minuscule um, and it is, it's very strong there. So another cool thing here is they have an American flag stamped in the back and it says made here, which I thought does neat. It doesn't say made in America, it says made here, which is kind of a cool little a uh, little detail there. Also, this strap here is probably the thing I like most about these shoes. Um, it's very easy to put them on. You just pull the tongue forward, loop your finger in there, and you just pop them right on your foot. It's made in a way where it's not stitched in the back, so it doesn't really stand out. It doesn't stick out the back of your shoe and look weird. Um, and you can hook your finger in there and pull them on really easily. The insole also helps with that. And they slide on you know, pretty easily in there, they're perfect. Um, one thing I should also note about the insole, it's not sticky or tacky at all, so when you do stick your foot in there, it seems to slide in perfectly. That might be why they have that specific coating in there, um, but I mean, it, it slides on pretty much without a problem. So, moving on to the last part here, we have the eyelets. They're just, uh, on this particular pair, they're just like a black steel eyelet. Uh, nothing super fancy, but definitely cool to see metal on there um, being used, and that's that's awesome on a shoe like this. Uh, we have these laces, and I'm not sure if these are nylon or poly or cotton. I want to say they're either nylon or polyester. Um, they're pretty thick, and they're very durable. I don't think you need to change these um, for a long while. And if you did, I could probably get uh, something like a paracord lace that would go great with uh, with these. I have a pair of black paracord laces. I have my work boots, and they're great. Um, if you do need to change them, you can do that. Although, honestly, I think you'll be fine with these laces for a good long while. Also, uh, the patch here in the tongue says Whoobies on it, which is really neat. And it's canvas on the inside. That's pretty much it. It's canvas all the way up through there. There's no split here and leather going up like some boots will have. Some boots will have that, I think, where they'll go actually fabric. They'll stop with the leather and go fabric. But this is the canvas the whole way through. And really, last thing here I forgot to mention is it has two breather holes here and two here. I guess I, I assume that they're breather holes. I'm not sure, but that's what I would assume they are, which is kind of neat to have that extra airflow ventilation in there since this canvas material is pretty thick here. Um, so that's pretty much about it. Um, I guess I should also mention that the ankle support here is pretty nice. It doesn't really have too much of an arch support. It's a little bit there. Um, it's a lot more than I'm used to wearing just boots that have just, you know, like a flat sole. Um, but yeah, it's very comfortable. I love these shoes. I can't wait to take them out. I will be using these um, mostly for when I go out and do photography stuff. That's why I got them, because I want something black and simple to put on and just go and run with it. Um, I don't have time to pick out a pair of boots or anything like that. I want something light. It's hard to really run around in a heavy pair of boots as much as I really do like boots. Um, and it's easier to dress these. You just grab these pair of black jeans, a hoodie, and you just run. And that's going to be important for me as I'm switching the channel to two videos a week instead of one. And I've started doing other jobs for people. So things are starting to ramp up and I don't really have time to, you know, deal with boots and shoes and upkeep and all that. I just need a pair of beaters I can slap on, trust that they're going to take me wherever I need to go. And that's why I bought this pair. And so we'll let you know uh, what I think here in probably about half a year to a year. I might do a follow-up review. They're really awesome. Last thing I forgot to mention, they have their logo here, I believe it is with is a, it's a skull and focus, dang it. It's a skull with arrows in it. That's also really cool detail. All right guys, so that's it for me for this review. Hope you enjoyed, if you did, leave a like. 
uh, feel free to go in the comment section and leave some comments. Let me know what you think of the video. And if you could subscribe, that'd be awesome. Really helps me out. And uh, we're on our way here to 200 subs. We're at 124, I think, last I checked, which is really crazy and phenomenal. Um, I've loved seeing the growth we've had so far here and the videos and whatnot. I've loved making them and helping you guys out with those different things. So yeah, if you just wanna go ahead and subscribe and leave me a comment, I always appreciate the feedback. And also, if you happen to be uh, one of the would-be staff members here, um, maybe even the founder, whoever, whoever does social media, if you guys do that, uh, if you want to just go ahead and leave a comment uh, and let me know what you thought of the review. If I missed any details or anything like that, I'd really, really appreciate you leaving that down below in the comment section. I'll go ahead and pin it so it can help other potential customers um, take a look at these and you know make a decision if they want to get them or not. I 100% recommend these. They're fantastic. I can't wait to take them around places. So that's it for me. We'll see you guys in the next video. Laters.